What's up guys, my name is Jake Rich. I'm a travel filmmaker and content creator from Australia and I'm part of the GoPro family. And today I wanted to share with you an exciting opportunity that GoPro have for everyday GoPro users like you and I to be involved in the future engineering of GoPro. Now, if you haven't already heard about it, it's called GoPro Labs and it's access to a very simple platform that takes less than a minute to install. So today in this video, I'm gonna run you through exactly how to get set up with GoPro Labs on your GoPro. If you have a GoPro Hero 7 Black, 8 Black, 9 Black or GoPro Max, GoPro Labs is available on all of these devices. I'm also gonna run you through some unique use cases, some ways that GoPro have already used GoPro Labs to engineer some of the key features that you see on the current Hero 9 Black. First things first, let's get GoPro Labs set up on your GoPro. Head to the link in the description and download the appropriate camera firmware that corresponds to your camera. And whilst the firmware is downloading, grab the SD card from your camera and insert it into your computer. Unzip the downloaded firmware. The folder should be titled update. Drag and drop this entire folder onto your camera's SD card. Reinsert the SD card and the camera firmware will begin updating automatically. Once updated, your camera will display the following message. And to install any of the settings found on the GoPro Labs website, simply point your camera towards the generated QR code and the settings should install instantly. If you've already read the article on the inside line on GoPro's website, you may already be across this first unique use case, but I wanted to start here because it's an incredible feat from GoPro's own David Newman. 72 hours before the launch of a resupply mission to the International Space Station, GoPro's very own David Newman worked with a team from Northrop Gunman Corp to set up a series of GoPro Hero 8 cameras using the GoPro Lab firmware. They set the GoPro cameras to power on just minutes before the launch and start recording automatically, all configured with a single QR code many days in advance. From what was once an experiment in beta using GoPro Labs firmware on the Hero 8 Black is now a permanent feature called scheduled capture as seen on the Hero 9 Black. Now this next case is super exciting for you research scientists or camera nerds out there that have been looking for an affordable way to use your camera as a camera trap. Using GoPro Labs, GoPro can recognize differences in what the lens sees to start and stop recording. If using the GoPro Hero 9, you can also use this feature in conjunction with hindsight. So once the camera detects motion and recognizes that action is happening, it will automatically start to record. If using hindsight on the Hero 9, you'll be able to capture up to 30 seconds of footage before the recording begins, enabling that you don't miss any of the action. There's a range of sensitivity between one and nine, with one being the least and nine being most sensitive and a defined recording time in seconds to continue recording after the last movement was detected. Also, if you're wondering about this epic snow leopard clip, it was captured by GoPro family member, Philip Martini in conjunction with the Vanishing Treasures program and the UN Environment's Wild for Life campaign. Have you ever thought about capturing a storm or wanted to prolong the length of your time lapse? Now using GoPro Labs, you can. GoPro Labs firmware allows you to create long time lapses just using the internal battery alone by powering off the camera in between photos whilst also supporting intervals beyond 60 seconds. So a fully charged GoPro Hero 8 can take around 400 photos, which you can spread over several hours or several days just like this decaying melon that was captured on a Hero 8 Black over the course of a week. Now, I can't have been the only person that's ever lost one of their GoPros and just hoped that some kind person that finds it would return it. Now, this next use case is quite simply a way to apply owner information embedded into the camera itself. Using GoPro Labs, you can add up to three lines of text to be displayed for about a second every time the camera is powered on. Owner information is written to both the SD card and the camera itself. Guys, thank you for checking out this video. Head down below if you wanna learn about some more custom use cases or if you wanna just learn more about GoPro Labs. That's it for me, JR. Peace.